In this problem, we're being asked to find inputs and outputs of a function uh, by looking at its graph. And we have to keep in mind what is meant by input and output. A function like f of x, f of x is the name of the function. It also stands in place of y. So when we talk about the value of a function or its output, um, we often refer to it as f of x, f of x equals something. So these are the y values. When we um, ask for uh, a value of a function at a certain location, this, like f of negative 2, where you would plug in negative 2 for x and calculate the value of the function, that's the input. That's the x value. So inputs are x values. Outputs are y values or function values. So let's look at this problem. It says the graph of a function f is shown below. Find one value of x for which f of x equals 2. So where does y equal 2? Well, here's y equals 2, and there are two spots on this function where y equals 2 at x equals negative 1. So this would be x equals negative 1, or it could be x equals 1. Both of those answers would be correct. And then it says find f of negative 2. So we find the x value of negative 2. Well, here's negative 1, negative 2. So it looks like, I don't know, it's pretty close to negative 1. So f of x here, or f of negative 2, equals negative 1, or thereabouts. Hard to see on that graph. So that is a little bit of work with inputs and outputs of functions.